Hi everyone! I'm just making this video to show you how to travel on an international flight or a short haul flight. Um, if you are traveling and wondering how to feed your baby on an airplane, this is also good um, if you're just going out for the day and you need to bring some food along. So I have some items here that um, you'll be bringing with you on the plane. Um, this is the uh, thermos or container. This will be where you put your hot water. Uh, this is the thermos case. This is what the thermos goes into. As you can see, this product is made by Avent Phillips. And the thermos screws in to the bottom and then you can put the top over the thermos. It's specifically made for babies. Um, and the nice thing about this product is that when you're on the airplane, you not only have your hot water in the thermos, but you also have a container where you can fill the hot water and then place your bottle inside and that will heat the milk or formula for your baby. So the things that you'll need to bring with you is a thermos with hot water. Um, you can have this plastic container but it's not necessary and I will explain why in a little bit. You also need uh, one or two or three bottles depending on the flight duration. Um, you will need some milk bags. These are breast milk bags um, but I'm using them for formula. If you're interested in the the brand, it's called Lansino brand. I'm not sure if you can see there. Um, and these are for breast milk. Uh, they are BPA, BPS free. So you don't have to worry about uh, leaching and all that stuff. And you're also going to want formula, whatever uh, formula your baby's drinking and just some regular water, room temperature water, and um, a little washcloth or um, spit up rag. So what I do, what I like to do is figure out um, how long your flight is. So in our case, we had a nine hour international flight and you want to find out how much your baby is going to be eating during that flight. So we figured that our baby ate every two hours. So on a nine hour flight, that's about four, about four feedings. Um, but you may want to bring some extra food. Um, just in case there's a delay or um, yeah, something happens. So um, what we ended up doing was we brought this big container of formula on the plane with us in our hand luggage. And we also brought um, some, I put some formula in the plastic bags uh, so that I didn't have to scoop out the formula while I was on the plane. And I put these in the diaper bag. Um, so then what you want to do is fill your bag with however much formula your baby's eating. And you can store this in your diaper bag, as I mentioned, just ready for when your baby's hungry. Um, and also, 
I like to fill the bottle with water, room temperature water, so that it's ready to go for when my baby's hungry. So um, you would just fill the bottle with water and have that ready in your diaper bag for the first feeding on the plane. So then um, when you have when you have the um, water in your container, there's two things you can do. You can either fill this all the way with the amount of water you will need to mix with the formula, and then you can take the hot water out of the thermos, pour it into the plastic container, then put the bottle inside and wait for it to warm. Or what I found was better and faster is just fill your water bottle, or just fill the bottle with water um, up to maybe uh, an ounce or 20 to 30 milliliters um, of room temperature water and then fill the rest of the amount of water that you need with the hot water from the thermos so then your water is instantly warm. Of course you want to check that it's not too hot so you'll check the water on your wrist um, but if you do it frequently enough and you do it before the flight then you'll probably know um, what your ratio is and if it's going to be warm enough or too hot. So then after you uh, fill the water with your room temperature water and your hot water then you're going to open the bag and pour the water into the bag. Uh, I won't do it now but you're going to fill this up and then seal the bag tightly. It has a double um, double closure so it's really not going to spill anywhere and then you're going to shake it up mix it up and so that the formula dissolves really well and and yeah when it's ready when it's mixed well then you will place the box place the um, place the formula carefully inside of the bottle like this and then open the top, fold the top over the mouth of your bottle. You want to make sure you have a bottle where the bag can easily fit over the top. I'm using MAM, M-A-M brand bottles and then you take your Top, bottle top nipple and you screw it on to the top and it screws easily without a problem and then you can feed your baby and as you're feeding your baby the bag will collapse on itself there's no problem with the milk getting to the nipple um, my baby's never had a problem drinking and if you're familiar with the Placetex drop-in system, it's similar and they say that it's good for uh, babies with reflux because there's less air um, in the bottle. But I'm not sure if that's true. And these are not Playtex drop-ins. This is just a regular breast milk bag. I did contact the Lansano company. They said that they do not recommend um, filling the bags with um, water, like using them uh, for travel the way that I am, but uh, I did it and didn't have a problem. And um, yeah, they're BPA, BPS free. You store breast milk in them anyway, so. I thought it would be fine. Um, yeah, and so then also just in, if you're traveling with someone, maybe you're asleep and they don't know the amount of water to formula ratio, what you can do is take a Sharpie and write on your bag 
the amount of water so I need 210 milliliters of water for this amount of formula so then whoever you're traveling with knows okay 210 that's how much water in total we need to make formula and um, sometimes after you place the bag inside of the bottle and you screw the top on there's still a little bit of milk on the outer edge of the bag because for, uh, you mixed it so then you can take your little cloth or um, a wipe or anything and then just wipe the milk off that way it doesn't uh, get on you or the baby and after your baby is done eating uh, then the top will be uh, dirty not sterilized and so you're wondering well what can I do if I'm on a long-haul flight and I need to feed my baby eight times on the airplane so what we did was we brought um, eight bottle tops with us that has the um, plastic top and then the nipple part and the part that screws on. So we brought um, something like six or eight of these with us in a separate bag. And so I brought one bag with tops and one empty bag. So this is our clean bag. This has all of the clean tops and this other plastic bag I marked it as our dirty bag. So when we had a dirty uh, top then I would put it in here. So this is still clean because this just had a plastic bag in it. So all we did was take the plastic used bag of formula out. We dumped out any liquid that we may have had left into the um, airplane bathroom sink and we just threw the bag away and then with the dirty top I put it inside of the bag marked dirty and then our bottle was ready for the next feeding. So then I took my clean bag with the clean uh, top and I put a new clean one on the bottle and it was ready for the next feeding and then the next feeding we um, had another bag that was already ready and then you go through the same process you fill your container your bottle with the amount of water that you want then you put the water inside the bag you mix the bag and mix the formula then you put the bag inside the bottle screw the top on your baby drinks the milk when they're done you put this used top into the dirty bag and then you put a clean top on so uh, that's how you can fly on a on an airplane um, you might wonder what you can bring with you. We were able to bring a whole container of formula in our check baggage um, and these little pre-made bags that I made in the diaper bag that we also carried on. We were able to bring one and a half liters of water. You are able to bring uh, water for your baby's formula as long as it's a reasonable amount and we were also able to bring a container of hot water in this thermos um, with the top on um, but uh, they will check they will ask to look in your in your bag your diaper bag um, they will ask to check the formula and the water um, and they put it in a machine to test it to make sure you know everything is safe and you're not carrying anything dangerous onto the plane um, so you should take some time to 
um, get to the airport early and just know that they're going to have to check these items, but you can bring these items with you. Uh, some people suggested online that you could ask the flight attendants to heat the bottle for you with warm or hot water that they use to make coffee and tea. Um, it's also not really recommended to do that because uh, the water, you're not sure if it's really um, bacteria free. So you really, if your child is a small child, so a newborn one to three months, I really suggest that you bring bottled water um, and yeah, do not use the water in the airplane bathroom. There are usually signs that say, this is not drinkable water. So definitely don't use that. You could ask the airline people to warm your water for you. They could give you hot water and something like this, and then you could warm your bottle um, that way if you just bring in room temperature water, but we had to feed our baby so many times that I just didn't want to bother the staff with bringing us hot water each time. And honestly, if you fill this with hot water and then you use it in your bottle, it's much faster, much, much faster. Um, you don't have to wait at all for the water to warm up. Also, you may be wondering, well, how long does hot water stay hot in a thermos? And we actually did some experiments at home before we took a thermos with us on our flight. Uh, we had three different sizes of thermoses. We had this one, we had a small cup type of thermos, and we had a very large thermos. And uh, all of them retain heat really well. The largest container that we used held si uh, hot water for 16 hours. The smallest one held hot water for, I think, five hours. And this one held hot water for about 10 hours, I think. Um, so it was plenty, uh, plenty of, of time for us for, and for our flight and the baby had hot water. Um, also, if you're not concerned with heating your baby's formula, you could just bring regular room temperature water and just use the bag system with room temperature water if your baby doesn't mind drinking their milk that way. So when I'm going out, um, to run errands or something like that. Uh, this is also really convenient. Or if you're doing something like hiking and you don't wanna bring everything with you, what can you bring? So usually what I do is I will make a couple. So it depends on how long we're out, but one or two or three bags like this filled with formula and I will fill this with water and put a top on it and bring this. And that's it and we're good to go. Um, sometimes if we're out for a little bit longer then I'll bring an extra top and a dirty bag to keep the dirty tops in. But if you're going out, you just need one or two of these bags, some water in a bottle, maybe an extra top and the hot water if, if your baby likes hot water. Or if you don't have any water at home, you can bring the formula in the bag, the bottle, and an extra top and you can buy bottled water while you're out at the store. So that's it. If you have any questions, please leave questions in the comments below. Thanks.